This honey has no stinging bees, but researcher Ted Evans will add some obstacles of his own. First, a tough plastic sheet is used to seal the top of the tube. This is lowered into a stronger tube that is taller and harder to reach into. Four tools are available, a rock, a wooden block, a leafy twig and some building bricks. But it's rather unclear how any of these will help. Vulcan takes up the challenge. He's done this test before, but no one taught him how to do it. It's hard to see how banging two rocks together will help, but Vulcan's determination suggests he has a plan. A flint knife. Vulcan has transformed the rock into a cutting tool. The first piece isn't sharp enough to cut the plastic, so he tries another with a keener edge. This is not easy. At last, the seal is broken, but the honey is still out of reach. Vulcan switches to the branch and begins stage two. He's stripping away the leaves and the bark to make a probe. Finally, he can reach the honey. This goes way beyond banging a clam. This is true tool use, the holy grail of intelligence research. What's more, combining different tools in sequence is tool use of the most sophisticated kind. Skeptics might claim that Vulcan has been trained to do this and has no real understanding of the task. To test this, the experiment is repeated, but coloured chips are used to represent the tools. The black chip buys a rock, the yellow a twig, and so on. Black, that's the rock. With the tool he requested, Vulcan goes to work on the plastic seal. Now he'll need the twig, which is yellow. A brick is not what Vulcan asked for. That's better. Not only is Vulcan entirely self-taught, but no matter what the task, he knows exactly which tools are required and precisely the order in which to use them.